Hello, I'm Stan. Nice to meet you. You're so attractive to me and I love your cute face. Mmm. 20 minutes later. Stuck up, bitch. I would beat the living shit out of you. How come an unfunny nincompoop like you, if this is you, matches with a beautiful girl on Tinder, yet I don't? Because I'm also beautiful. Probably. The females only care about looks. I would make the most pleasant boyfriend ever, but because I'm not sexy, no girl would even pass gas in my direction. Based on your post history, you seem a little creepy, bud. It's probably related. Haha. <laughs> Did you really have to view my post history? Can't you respect privacy? The dude is like, what do you mean there's a history of everything I've posted? No, oh my god! <laughs> and we're gonna start, <laughs> okay, we're gonna start, uh, this is a how-to guide. This is like a how to spot a nice guy, okay? Cause I, this is episode three, I know my shit. Tip number 12. If he frequents words like, nincompoop in a non-ironic fashion. He's probably a nice guy. I'm tired of girls showing off their bodies and their faces, okay? I have a nice face and a decent body. I also have a duplex, 50k in the bank, two small businesses, I study stocks, body language, microbiology, quantum physics, I have a book with about 20 invention ideas, and I'm open-minded as fuck! Not to mention I know the steps to almost any surgical procedure you can think of, or almost any investment activity known to man, and will be a millionaire. Where's your selfie again? So, you've found success, or whatever you've interpreted as success, and you're mad because hot women get more likes than you, even though you have a nice face and a decent body. I don't know about any of that. What I do know is that you have a nice sweater vest and a decent fedora. Also, how does hitting on girls play out in this guy's head? Just, hey, 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 name any medical procedure. Hey, bitch. Hey, yo, bitch, name a medical procedure. <laughs> I'll tell you the steps. What night are you free? Not sure yet, but I'll keep you notified as we get to know each other better. Ah, uh, I see how it is. The old meeting a guy off the internet is scary because he might actually be a nice guy scenario. Deeper number seven. If he mentioned a nicer guy, he is a nice guy. I treat you better than other guys, I promise. People tell me always that I'm a good guy. Very nice and polite. I would buy you flowers too and take you to dinner if you don't like drinks. Ooh, ooh. I'm sure you're nice and all, but I really am not interested. Because you date girls. Exactly. Girls will never treat you as good as me. Just give up already, okay? Dick Peak! Oh god, why? Do you like? Why am I making him talk like this? Ew, no. Just a fair warning, I'm blocking you right now. Lol, I'm sure you're ugly anyway. Your loss, haha. <laughs> Don't come ask me back when the bad boys hurt you, bitch. Don't you mean bad girls? No boys, no drinking. No boys, no drinking. No boys, no drinking. Please be smart, all right? I know you will, dang it, but please be smart. This is really hard for me because I've always been a tremendously good person and have never gone to a party. When I text you, you are to answer. The party is not and will not ever be more important than me. You better know what you're doing. Please don't do anything to ruin us. I know you won't, but a reminder never hurt. Around 9.30, text me when you'll be home. Have fun. I love you bunches. I don't know why I allow this, but whatever, go. No boys, no drinking. And I love you. And you're calling me tonight and I'm getting every detail. And if you ever try to break up with me, I have a feeling I'll be really good at making you feel like it's your fault. Cause I sound like a dick. Fuck. What? That chick I went on a couple dates with in June that I liked a lot but had to move back to New York? is dating someone. I can't believe she didn't save herself for me. Wow, 
How'd you find out? Women are such whores. I'm such a nice guy and so intellectual. My brain is too high functioning for them. Dad, this girl I went on a few dates on moved and now she's moving on with her life. That's cause I'm too smart. <laughs> you fucking kidding? You know who I am. I don't really remember. It doesn't matter. Listen, kid, you don't want to see my other side. I have a wolf inside me with a muzzle on, but the muzzle's about to come off. You broke her heart, and I will break yours. She's a nice girl. How dare you use her like this? How come people like you get to date her? Then people like me have to sit in the shadows and be the shoulders to cry on. Listen, kid. Listen, kid, I don't have time for fucking games. I am a nice guy, but when you make a nice guy angry, the world shakes. Insert fat joke. Don't do it again. <laughs> okay. You will regret this the next full moon. You mess with me, you mess with the pack, but fuck you. Get ready. Ow! That's my... That's my wolf howl. Ow! Stop pushing good guys away because you're scared. Not all guys are bad guys. Aw, oh, come on. This guy's not that bad. He just said something that accidentally sounded really rapey. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's pretty bad. Let me make you feel better. Get you some roses and some chocolate. Give you a back rub. No thanks. I was just trying to be nice. I don't even know you, but thanks for being a mean person like everyone else in my life. Take it easy, bitch. Oh, all I said was no thanks. When you see a girl sitting alone at the train station, so you go and buy her chocolate and coffee and sit down with her and she rejects it. Fuck me for being a decent human being, I guess. <laughs> so basically, you've been to a bar, and what you took away from that experience was, Oh, that's an acceptable way of approaching a woman, is just by buying her a drink. That's the secret. That's what's been holding me back, is the... These liquids! I'm a shaman. Ooh, buckle up, baby. This one's gonna be cringy as fuck. So I naturally love a chick who is fiercely intelligent, strongly independent, open-minded, but also at the same time, someone who lacks life experience. I'm the guy who you first trip LSD with. I'm the guy who you experience your first concert with. I'm your first true love. I'm your virginity claimer. I'm the guy who you find yourself in when you realize how lost you are in life. I'm your best friend. And to a certain degree, I'm your only friend. Because only someone like me can understand someone like you. At least only until you begin to understand yourself. I only fall in love with virgins, pure souls, and the inexperienced. I know a virgin when I see one. Oh, whoa, that's, that's crazy. So do I. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. One with a color, turtleneck, that's the kind. Guns when you're wearing <laughs> that, that one. <laughs> Oh, look at Sarbo TV extending his video to 10 minutes. No, that's not what I'm doing. It's just... It's a new month, so I just have a lot more patrons to thank. And... Are you just... What are you, scatting? What the fuck is going on right now? Casual fans. These are my casual fans. And I got a lot of new super fans to get through, so here we go. Rin Rin for the win, Catherine Gates, Johan Brockstedt, Anna Davis, Matt McDermott, Matter Jacker, Michael James, Timon Offrider, Scarlet, Sir Brodacious, Zare Hunter, Peter Yost, Luke Held, Connor Allen McKee, Fierce Deity Lynx, Brooks Woodhill, 
Parker L. Reed, Sam Morse, Ebony Zio, the artist formerly known as Humongous, Luke Bob Maple, Norik Norikson, Becca Moreno, JW Delicious, Mr. Mose, Hunter Banow, Casey, Casey, and Noah Schramm. Oh, they're my super mega fans. Well, there's Austin Salkowski and Headpatch and Jake Thompson and Sean Joseph and Nolan Patterson and Ryan Hill and Ain't and Salentino, Everett Brettweiser and Jesse Dutro, Fluid McCree and Joseph Hill. Screw you, Mr. Moe's Jazzerus and Wissam Safi and Tyler Bunnell. Miles McMahon, and Fable and Spencer Torres as well! So many super mega fans, I'm losing my mind! Now let us all bow our heads and give thanks to the Disciples of Sorrow TV. Ethan Johnson, Satan, Nicholas Costa, Lua, Chris Hendry, Sneak Shadow, Drake White, August S. Freitag, Indiana the Hooved One, and the mightiest disciple of all, ZZ. And lastly, who could forget about Yapo Johannes and Chris Waltz?